What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today is January 31st, 2020. Last trading day of January. Last day of January. Well guys, I'm here to tell you that I made a ginormous mistake that I don't ever want to make ever again. And I just figured that we can all learn from my mistakes. I want to break down this trade and tell you all about it. My psychology, my thought throughout the entire process. I apologize that I you know, can't record my trades live. That's because I am trading from my office, from my day job. And so that creates a big problem, but more about that later let me show you the signal that i got today i got a signal on the cues i also got a signal on spy but um i decided to trade uh the cues and it was actually not the right one to trade today but again more about that later this is the signal that i got here today this is the first candle of the day, the first one hour candle. Uh, with that being said, what we're looking at here off to the left, we have the one hour chart on, on, on the queues and off to the right, this is the daily chart on the queues. As you can see here, the last signal that we got on the daily chart on the queues was a down arrow. So we're only trading to the downside. It's that simple. This strategy is that simple. So we take a look at the hour charts. I am just going to extend this, make this bigger. We don't really care about the uh, uh, daily chart anymore. I did get a signal here and this was the 8.30 candlestick my time, Mountain Standard Time. And let me go ahead and start showing you all the trades that I made today. Look at that. I made a total of eight trades, four round trips. Um, Today, this was the most trades I've ever made in, I think, ever probably. Yeah, uh, if you can believe that. The first buy was 22 minutes before the close of the candlestick in which the signal came in on. So that was basically my first sort of mistake. I got in way too early, but I bought one. I bought a starting position. Uh, one, as you guys know, I like to trade at least two calls, two options, two contracts uh, because of my strategy. My strategy must involve more than one option. And maybe I've never mentioned that before, but either way, you always see me trade uh, more than one, usually just two for the time being. Still trying to grow that account. I went ahead and put in a sell order at 355. It executed eight minutes after the close of that candle. Now, here's the weird part I was trying to buy another option, one more contract after the, this one closed. It wouldn't let me. I was doing something wrong. I am pretty positive that I was doing something wrong. It maybe it had something to do with the fact that i already had one option uh looking to sell i i'm, I'm not sure i have no idea but anyways um i couldn't buy I, I didn't end up buying that other contract i figured two minutes after i sold that i was going to get cute and buy one at a lower price than where i originally sold and i placed a market order at 345 my logic behind why I bought a second one was I was hoping to ride this wave. This was terrible of me to say, but I was sort of uh, trading on hopes and dreams. And any any time that happens, it's just not a good recipe. So I bought it at 345. Five minutes later, I ended up uh, selling at 316 at this point right here this buy sell buy sell i was basically even uh per dollar amount i was up three bucks but because of commissions i, I was breaking even uh, a little more than half hour i saw that the markets were moving below this lower uh, mobile band so i decided to get cute again 
and and I told myself, well, I'm gonna trade this thing as if uh, I got a, a new signal for the very first time on this candlestick. And that's what I did. That's essentially what I did. I went ahead and bought in a starting pos uh, starting position at 331. And oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Um, gone through way past half of this video. I was trading the 221.50 puts that expire in seven days on the queues. With that being said, I bought another starting position at 331. Bought the second one at 328, and then I put in a sell order for 362, 10% above my uh, average price of 331 and 328. And then it started kind of going back and forth, back and forth, and then it came back down to uh, 335. At that point, I was just breaking even on that contract pretty much. And it actually went into negative ter territory from where I originally bought at 331. So that was that was it. The play was over. But as you can see, the market started moving lower throughout the day. Lower and lower and lower. But moral of the story, guys, do not over trade. Do not over trade. Be patient. I need to work on that, guys. I need to... Um, work on waiting for the signal for that candle to close on the signal um, and to solidify that that signal is going to stick and just do it. Just follow the plan, follow the trading plan. Everything will be fine, guys. There is no reason per my research, per my due diligence, there is no reason why I shouldn't be successful, why 2020 um, can't be or shouldn't be my best trading year ever following this strategy if you want to know more about this strategy the mobo band uh, uh, strategy i'm going to put some links in the description down below um, also a couple of other videos that will explain to you how this strategy works it was not my idea i'm not the writer i'm not the author of the strategy but if you need help, have any questions or concerns about this strategy or about my trading in general, comment down below, guys. I will personally uh, reply to any of those comments or you're more than welcome to email me uh, with any questions or concerns. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. I'm sure you can learn from my mistakes. I know I will. And I will see you here on the very next trading video. Hoping it's a green trade. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. See you guys here next week. Everybody have a fabulous weekend. Be safe. Have fun. Guys, take care.